Hi there everyone, my name is Miss Janine. I'm a children's librarian with the Long Beach Public Library at the Mark Twain branch. Normally I do story times at the library, but today I thought I would actually do a story time in my very own home. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start. Today, I thought we would do a special story time about Mother's Day. Today is a very special day that we actually celebrate and make our moms feel special. So let's go ahead and read this book. This one is called Everything is Mama by Jimmy Fallon. We're gonna see all these little guys, all these different animals, all these baby animals that are gonna try and say some different words other than mama. So let's go ahead and start. This one is called Everything is Mama by Jimmy Fallon, illustrated by Miguel Ordonez. Ordonez. And it is published by Faywell and Friends, a small imprint company um, partnered with um, Macmillan Publishing Company. All right. Everything is mama, according to you. But there are other fun words you'll want to know too. Oh, look at all those animals. Words such as sun, Mama. Hmm, that's not the word son. Oh, waffle. Mama. Hmm, I'm not saying it. <gasps> Hat. Mama. Hmm. Shoes. Mama. Flower, mama, still saying mama. Boat, quack, hmm. that's not mama or boat. What a silly little duckling. Apples, mama. <laughs> Balloon, Mama. Ooh, noodles, Mama. Bubbles, Mama. Ooh, pajamas, Mama. Moon, Mama. <laughs> oh man, they all said Mama. Everything is Mama, according to you. But one day, you'll see, Mama's everything is you. <laughs> oh, and they all say Mama, except for which little guy? That silly little duckling. Quack. Mm. All right, the end. The end. Yay. So I thought we would also do a little song. And it is called Mommy. And it is sung to the tune of Bingo. Now, it's a little bit different from bingo, because in bingo, you usually spell out bingo. But this song, we're going to spell out mommy. So that means there is an M, an O, an M, another M, and a Y. Pretty cool, huh? So there are how many letters? There's one, two, three, four, five, five letters, okay? These little hands down here, 
they usually signal you to go ahead and clap. If you don't see a letter, you'll get the hang of it once we start the song, I'm sure. So, because it's to the tune of Bingo, the words to this song are, there is someone we love so much and mommy is her name -o. Okay, so let's go ahead and start, ready? So it goes. There is someone we love so much, and mommy is her name, oh, M-O-M-M-Y, 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 and mommy is her name, oh. Okay, now the next part of the song, we go ahead and take away the first letter. The first letter is M. <gasps> So that means we're gonna go ahead and clap once. Okay, ready? So it goes. There is someone we love so much and mommy is her name, oh. O-M-M-Y, O-M-M-Y, O-M-M-Y and mommy is her name, oh. Very good, okay. Now we're gonna take down a letter and this one is O. Okay, now we're gonna clap one, two times. Very good, okay. So it goes, there is someone we love so much and mommy is her name, oh. M-M-Y, M-M-Y, M-M-Y and mommy is her name, oh. Yay, very good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take the third letter off and that is M. Very good, very good. So now we are going to go ahead and clap one, two, three times. Okay, so it goes. There is someone we love so much and mommy is her name, oh. And why? M-Y, M-Y and mommy is her name, oh. Okay, now we're taking off the fourth letter, which is M again, the third M. So we are gonna go ahead and clap. One, two, three, four times. Okay, ready? So it goes. There is someone we love so much, and mommy is her name, oh. Why? Why? Why and mommy is her name, oh. Oh my goodness, we're down to the last letter. And the last letter is Y. So, there's no more letters. That means we're going to clap how many times? One two, three, four, five times. Oh my goodness, okay. I believe in us, we can do this. So it goes. There is someone we love so much and mommy is her name, oh. And mommy is her name, oh. Yay, we got through all of it. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put away these little hands. And I thought we would go ahead and do a little craft. Today's craft, I thought we would go ahead and do a Mother's Day card. I think all mommies deserve a Mother's Day card for all the things that they do for us and they're so special in our lives. So I thought we would make a card like this out of a cupcake liner. Pretty cool, huh? So you're gonna go ahead and make this card. You can go ahead and write on it. You can draw on it. You can do so many different things that you'd like to do. And I am going to go ahead and place this right here so that we can all see the example, okay? So all you need is a piece of paper and some scissors and some crayons to color, a glue stick and 
some cupcake liners. These you can find at any store. You can, or not any store, but you can find them at any grocery store. And they usually come in so many different colors. So today I thought I would go ahead and do purple and yellow. Okay. Now, if you can't find different colors, that's totally fine. But you can always go, so you can always pick white cupcake liners or just plain white, white cupcake liners and then you can go ahead and color them in. Okay, so what you're gonna do first, you're gonna wanna take your piece of paper and you're gonna wanna fold it hamburger style and fold it in half. Just go ahead and fold it all the way down like that. So now it's like a card. This will be the front of the card and this is the, the center of the card. It can go this way, it can go that way. No big deal. It's pretty cool, huh? Then what you're going to go ahead and do, take the first cupcake liner, the little cupcake cup, and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and turn it inside out so that the white part or the inner part of the cupcake liner is now on the outside and the colorful part is on the inside. Pretty cool. And then you'll go ahead and you'll glue the back part, the flat part of the white side. So glue. And you can go ahead and put it up here. And you can put it anywhere on the card. It's totally up to you. Pretty cool. And then what you're gonna do, you'll take the second cupcake liner. Technically, you don't really have to have a second one, but it's totally fine if you do. And what you're gonna do with the second one, because we wanna make it smaller than the one that's already on the card, we're gonna go ahead and trim it a little bit. So you're gonna fold it like a fan, like this. And then, doesn't it look like a fan? <laughs> and then you'll go ahead and fold it again to make it into a smaller fan, like that. Two folds, very easy. And then you'll go ahead and you'll take your scissors be sure you you have mom or dad watch you with the scissors, okay? And you're gonna go ahead and cut and follow the curve. Like that. So it's two different pieces. You'll go ahead and put this one away. And then you'll go ahead and open up your fan like so. And this will go ahead and go onto your card. But it will go You'll go ahead and um, glue the whiter part, the lighter part of the cupcake. Like so. And this, this glued part will go in the center on top of the first cupcake liner. Pretty cool. Then if you want it to be a little bit more frilly, you can go ahead and cut along the edge. You can cut as many times as you want. The more, the, the better, because it looks like more thinner, smaller, more fun, frilly petals when we do that. Yay! Pretty cool, huh? All right. Now, once you have your little flower, you can go ahead and draw a stem. It can be any color you want, of course. I use green. So you just go under here and you can go ahead and make a stem. 
You can also make leaves like so. And you can color them in if you like. It's up to you. Okay. All right. And inside, you can go ahead and write anything you'd like. You can go ahead and write Happy Mother's Day. And you can say, I love you, Mom. You can say so many different things. So many things that you... You can go ahead and write anything you think your mother would love to read on Mother's Day from a Mother's Day card from you. Okay? All right. So... That's about it for Mother's Day story time. I hope you all had a wonderful time and I hope to see you next time as well.